Hi everybody, Jacob here. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am bringing to you the on feet review of the Jeremy Scott Shark Fin from the Fall Winter 15 collection. Now I'm wearing it with Jeremy's for Adidas, what are they like, running leggings, pants, whatever you want to call them, just to kind of combine the two. Bam. Very magical. I know it's a crazy combo, but whatever. We have like a, what is this? It's kind of a leopardy, is it a leopard? I don't know what sort of animal it is. Magnified print in combination with a shark. Now, um, for those of you who haven't seen, you could check out my review of the Jeremy Scott for Adidas shark fin in the card section up above. For those of you who haven't seen it and don't want to see it, but just want to stick to this video, I'll give you a, a kind of a quick update. You know, this was supposed to be the first shark uh, Jeremy Scott sneaker, but it was postponed. And then one season later, the flame, the shark flame sneaker by Jeremy Scott came out. You could check out that reading the card section up above as well. And now finally, as the third season passes by, this shoe comes out. Now, it is reminiscent of a Cadillac, you know, so it, and they do light up when you're walking. You have the option to turn this kind of glowy thing uh, off um, by pushing a button on the inside of the shoe. So, you know, if I turn it there, now it's off. This one is still on. So, uh, as, as we all know, you know, Jeremy Scott kind of likes to reutilize certain themes and topics throughout his collections throughout the years, not just for the Adidas collections, but also for his own brand collections, as well as since fall winter 2014, the Moschino collections. So what we do see in the Moschino collection for spring summer 16 is the Cadillac theme. Again, you're going to see a lot of dresses, evening gowns that have this Cadillac especially 50s Cadillac kind of uh, detail to them. So it's a topic, it's a topic that is uh, reminiscent of Jeremy's own collection from way back in the day and now he's kind of recycling those topics. This is how the shark looks from the back. It's not the most comfortable shoe. I mean, you get used to it, you know. It, the thing is, it is very, it's, it's, it's comfortable meaning it's soft, like when you put it on it doesn't like give you any pressure anywhere, like nothing negative, it's all good, except my problem is it's completely isolated. There's almost virtually no air filtering through this shoe, so you will be sweating a lot. And I mean a lot, like there's no, there's no air going, filtering through this shoe. So that's something you got to be aware of uh, when you're purchasing it and you, you know, you might not care about that. But what is important to say is that by, you know, a shoe not being so air releasing or not, not air breathing as much, that means that uh, it could kind of become stinky if you don't at least take them off sometime, you know, I mean, don't wear it every day. I would definitely consider wearing it one day, letting it be for two days, and then you wear it again. Actually, what people say is, or professionals in the shoe industry usually tell me that you should alter a shoe on a three-day cycle, meaning you wear it one day, then you got to let it be for three days. Those three days that you give the shoe time to air and to refresh itself is the time that the bacteria need to die off and the shoe needs to cool down and what have you. So that's an interesting tip that I was told once and I mostly, for the most of it, abide by that rule. Not always do I do that and when I don't do that, <laughs> sometimes you could get a bad, um, you know, something bad might happen. But usually I abide to that rule. This is how they look on the bottom. Let's check out the other one. There you go. The problem is as you swivel, you, you kind of tend to turn to turn on the, the little button in here. You know, there's like a little button. When you push it, you turn on and off the blinky, uh, the blinky light. So this means that when you're walking and if you kind of push your foot to the side, you're going to turn them on automatically. That's kind of a downside to it. They should have kind of made something that's more sturdy, that doesn't just like go on every time. So every time I stand and I, and I pull my leg backwards, I turn on the, yeah, <laughs> it's, it's awkward, but yeah, that's what it does. You just got to live with that. 
So guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked this review. Give me a thumbs up if you did. Don't forget to share this video and subscribe to my channel if you wish to see more. Love you, see you soon, take care, bye. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed my video and if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and check out some of my other videos. I'm also on Twitter, Facebook and Instagram. So come on over guys and join the fun.